Okay, this is my task for this afternoon. Well, at least I'm going to make a start on it this afternoon. I've spent the morning taking a couple of jobs down. It's about two o'clock now, so I'm only going to get a couple of hours on this before it gets dark. But like I say, I'll make a start. Access is for kind of repairs and patchwork to the gable end and some kind of work on top of the chimney as well. So it's going to be a scaffold up over that roof, down the other side of the roof. Probably a couple of boarded lifts for the gable and one more to get up to the top of the chimney. Just going to start by putting a little tower here. I always like to get a fixed point if I can, so I've just come off the gutter, uh, off a couple of doubles, put these two standards in. So I'll make a start now. Right, that's this little tower in there. Next thing to do is throw in onto that ridge. Um, and we'll uh, see how that goes. Oh, that roof is slippy. Okay, I've got this end braced up now. I'm now going to put a strap in across the two ledgers just to hold them in place. And I'll also use that to rake it back down to the standards that are going to be going in here. Right, that is in. I'm now going to drop some standards down. Uh, I obviously need to put a board on the roof when you're by yourself. It's really hard to get that board to stay in place, especially if you do it uh, horizontally like that, as you really should to spread the load across the uh, the rafters. So what I always do first is put the rakers in, uh, coming from that strap, and I'll just uh, lay the board in behind those rakers, which will hold it in place, and I'll just drop the standards on them. Uh, I'll show you what I mean now. Like that, now I can just drop the standards down, put a strap across the standards and then tie those uh, rakers into that strap. It's still a fuck on like, there's no easy way of doing it. Okay, that's them two standards in now, put a strap across and tie them back with those rakers. Okay, that's them standards in, all braced up. Uh, next bit, oh, the fucker slipped there. Next bit is dropping a couple of standards down on that side and doing exactly the same thing. I'll get that done now. The only thing allowing me to stand on this roof is this moss. While I've got the camera pointing at me boots, do not forget to get yourself a pair of steel blue work boots. Without doubt, the best boots I've ever had, bar none, and I've tried all the different brands, all the different price ranges. These are by far the best boot for fit, function, and longevity. This is the second pair I've had. The first pair lasted over a year, about 13, 14 months, which is about six or seven months longer than any other pair I've ever had. If you want to get yourself a pair, go to bigboots.co.uk, use discount code SHARKSTEEL, and that'll give you 5% off. If you haven't got a pair by now, I don't know what you're thinking. Honestly, I am doing you a favour on this one. They are the best boots you will ever own. And at the end of the day, you've got absolutely nothing to lose. They come with a 30-day uh, comfort guarantee, which means if you're not 100% happy with them in any way, shape or form, after you've been wearing them, as long as it's within 30 days, you can just send them back to bigboots.co.uk and they will give you a full refund, no questions asked. Honestly, I'm doing you a favour here. 
get a pair of steel blue work boots and make sure you use discount code shark steel Ooh, right that's that end done i'm now going to get uh, this section trannied out get some boards in it I need to throw a couple of uh, pointings in now, so I've got to put the 16s here. I'm going to pull them up on top of these transoms that I've just put in, and then I'm going to uh, put them two in up there. I've got the uh, boards on this lift here. Obviously, I still need to put the inside boards on, but this will do to build the next lift off. So the next lift is just going to be a 13 foot from this standard to that one there. And then there'll be one more on top of that, which will just be an eight foot lift between these two standards, just so the guy can reach the top of the chimney. But the light is fading now, so I think I'm going to head back down the road to Newcastle because I am about an hour away. So I'll finish this one off on the uh, next visit. Oh, nice sunset over there. And there it is from the bottom. Just quickly before I leave. Okay, back up here. Monday morning. Freezing cold. Gonna jump straight into this. Like I said on Friday before I, go, uh, before I left. I've got a 13 foot lift to go on there. And then another little 8 foot table lift to go on top. So I'm gonna jump straight into it. Before I go, I just want to quickly show you something else on these steel blue work boots that I couldn't show you when I was on the roof. Apart from them being the best boots you will ever own, my favourite part of the boot is the way you get in and out. It's as simple as that. And before anybody starts banging on about the zips, like I said before, my last pair lasted over a year, like 13, 14 months or something like that. I've never had a pair of boots uh, last that long and I wear fucking boots hard. These zips are like industrial grade zips, they're not some shitty zip that's going to break i've never had any issues with them whatsoever so like i said before do yourself a favor and get a pair of these steel blue work boots and stop kidding yourself or telling yourself that yours are better they are not and you will see that as soon as you get a pair anyway it's on you i've got work to do now Right, that's the 13 foot table lift in, just one more 8 foot table lift to go on top, got the gear ready, I'll get on with that now. Right, my phone is playing up here, I fuck me, it's like, um, and so I couldn't fucking film that because my phone kept switching off anyway, so I've got that top table lift in now, boards on it now, <coughs> and handrail. Right, I've made it to the top here, but I can't make any videos of any length every time I try and film, just trying to do the time lapse, it's not going to tell. So, I'm up here now. There's the top of the chimney, got the handrail ready, I'm going to get this all handrailed now and then I've got loads of snagging to do, like short boards for going on the inside etc, but I'll get this top bit finalised now. Right, just this fucking monster ladder now to haul up to the top and drop down through the two lifts. Okay, nearly got it up here now, one last push to get over here, flip it up and drop it down there. Top lift is all done here. Nice access to the top of the chimney. The lift, all done here. I think it's going to be like waterproofing it or repointing it or something. Anyway, good access for all this bit. Lift here, again, just access for all the kind of repointing and waterproofing or whatever. But that's it all done. All the way to the top. Sorry about the shitty video. Sorry about all the jumps, but I need to get my phone sorted out. But there you go. All sorted. On to the next one.